Good morning, everyone. I just woke up here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that one snuck up on me. Thought I was done with that before I started filming, but that's all right. Uh, so we slept right here where we're uh, getting unloaded. I took all the straps off yesterday already so that they could just start unloading as soon as uh, they got to work, and that's what they did. They have three more skids to take off my trailer, and then they're loading back up with some empty racking stuff. That shouldn't take too long. I'll tie that down, and we'll be out of here. So I'm in a small town called Langbank, Saskatchewan. I picked up this load that I'm delivering here in Burlington, Iowa. And from here, those empty racks that I'm picking up are going to Bagot, Manitoba just a few hours down the road towards home. So last night it was tires. We got those tires off. They're in the background back there now. And now we got these crates. It wasn't the crates I thought it was. I thought it was going to be those two steel crates that I showed you last night, but no, this is what we got instead. So we're bringing this to Bagot, Manitoba, and we'll see where we're going from there. I'm thinking we're probably going to end up going home because it's Thursday, but who knows, maybe they'll have something for me to do to keep me busy. Let's get going and find out. Mooseman, Saskatchewan. I gotta get a coffee. So we uh, are on our way to Bagot, uh, Manitoba, about two and a half hours away. That was not a stop, my friend. Wow. That was okay. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. You do you. Stop it at Tim's. 100 meters. Make a U-turn if possible and then turn right into 120 meters. I'll get some liquid life and fuel myself up a bit. Oh, mud lot. That's fantastic. Welcome to Saskatchewan. It's not that bad. I mean, it could be worse. I've seen lots up here that uh, you'll sink right into your axles if you hit the wrong soft spot. At least this is nice and packed, you know? They redid the Tim Hortons here again. Look at that. They gave it another facelift. Wow. Never actually. 
not too bad, two miles. That's not bad at all. anymore. I'm done with it. It's a nice top view over there. It reminded me a lot of diesel. Oh, there's two of them. Right over there. This corn is still standing here. I'm kind of surprised. I thought they would have harvested it by now. I'm not a farmer, so what do I know? One kilometer, turn left on Highway 242. It's like mid-November, past mid-November already, it's still standing. Wonder if they planted it late, or... Who knows? Well, farmers know, I don't. I'm going down to Park Rapids, Minnesota. It's going to be one of those trailers that, you know, lifts up and then it, all the, the freight just rolls off, like trusses roll off onto the ground. So it's super easy to unload. I'm looking forward to it. It's not over dimension from what I've heard. So I don't got to worry about flagging and tagging it. So I'll just go there, hook on in the morning, tie it down, grab the paperwork, zip down there, dump it on the ground, zip back, bring the trailer back to Winnipeg because that goes to a different yard. And then I'll go home for the weekend. So let's go home and uh, we'll talk more a little bit later or tomorrow or this weekend about uh, our doctor appointment, fertility doctor appointment that uh, we have coming up this following week. It's, it's exciting for us and for Britt. Uh, we're preparing for another transfer. So it's our last one. I don't want to talk too much about it now. We'll talk about when I get home. Okay, so I'm only going to take what I need today. I'll just take all my valuables home because we're going to be right back here at the truck uh, tomorrow morning early. So I just make sure all of my expensive valuables are all accounted for. And with me at the house, I guess I'm paranoid, never had any problems, but can never be too careful, I guess. So, like usual, uh, 
I'm gonna do the post trip before I leave. That way tomorrow morning when I come in to do the pre-trip, there shouldn't be any surprises. But take care of everything tonight. That way tomorrow morning, I don't wanna show up and suddenly be like, oh no, I have a flat tire. Or oh no, my coolant is gone. Oh no, I'm low on oil, you know? At least I can check my oil now and check my coolant. And then I can get here in the morning. As soon as I walk in, I can look at the truck and right away see, is there any fluids under the truck? No? Okay, do a quick double check of the fluids. Make sure all the brakes are still exactly how they were the night before. Make sure everything else is. I can just, don't have to worry, right? Because I've had it happen before where I'm in a big rush. I get there, start doing the pre trip and you find something big. And like, oh, it then your whole day is ruined. And then I would lose out on that load tomorrow, which loses me a lot of revenue. So I try to think ahead, I guess. Do what I can anyway. Let's go home.